Welcome to Mad Investo. So in this short video, I will show you how to participate in the Everdome Hero presale. So as you know, I've covered at the beginning how to buy Meta Hero. What's that about? What is that token? As I see, great potential there, and especially with their Everdome, their virtual uh, world and metaverse. So. I've explained you how to buy it at the beginning, so if you were the person who were holding that for a while and your addre address is whitelisted for that pre-sale, you're in a great um, spot because you can actually buy that um, ever though. So, the first thing which you'll need to do is you'll need to connect your MetaMask. By the way, if you are the person who has Trust Wallet or other wallets when you are holding that uh, that hero, you're still good, you just need to import that to your MetaMask. I created a separate video, which I put in the description of this video, which explains you step by step how to import a trust wallet into a MetaMask in an easy way. So now, you'll go to everdom.io slash presale, Make sure that you're going to the official website to that Everdome. Uh, if you're just going to Everdome.io, just cre click on a pre-sale. As there are so many phishing websites, I already found the two different websites that looks exactly the same, but they are not Everdome. So please make sure you're on the right one. Then when you're on that website, you need to press connect MetaMask. When you con connect MetaMask, it will ask you for um, verification and connecting, so ask you to connect your accounts and then uh, connect again. After your wallet is connected, so it's really simple. Then it tells you your address is whitelisted and you can buy 65,122 DOM. This is my amount of um, which I can buy, so as you can see, my address is is whitelisted. If yours hasn't, they've already put that uh, you can actually contact them as might be some uh, issues with the AB API, so just uh, message them on Telegram and support will help you out. So at this moment, I need 10,113 hero for that. So you can buy Everdom with BNB, you can uh, buy multiple times until the press is over. Their smart contract will send 10% of, of the their tokens immediately and the rest will be vested as described in tokenomics and you'll be able to claim your tokens every week. So this is what I can do, I can actually buy the uh, the Everdome for that BNB. This is an important thing because it's only for people who are you know holding that um, who, who are holding that uh, hero as it's only for the whitelisted. So what I'm about to do, I will actually um, send some more BNB to that address and buy that uh, buy that dome. The amount which I can actually buy, the min the maximum, it's 6522, which in uh, BNB it's 0 0.15 of um, BNB. That's the cost. So I can buy at this moment 0 0.15 B and B to USD, so it's uh, around sixty dollars. So it's not a big uh, amount of that uh, dome, but well, it's still great something. I just want to make sure that you see how it does. Does it work with that tutorial? So now, because I need that BNB, right? So what I will do, I will actually go to Binance and I'll send some of the BNB from Binance to my account. By the way, if you don't have a Binance account, you just have a link in the uh, description of this video to register so you can buy cryptocurrencies in a really easy way. After you can log into Binance, you need to go to a wallet, fiat and spots. And if you already have a BNB, you can withdraw it directly. If you don't, you can just press buy crypto and when you press buy crypto, choose for example card deposits or credit debit cards and you can just buy BNB straight here. What I will do, I'll just buy BNB with uh, BUSD, so I'll press um, the exchange. I'll go to the exchange and within the exchange I'll type BNB, BUSD because that's the pair which I'm about to swap. Then I'll choose the one to buy $100, or $100 of BUSD, BNB and press buy. Make sure that you're using a market so it's much easier thanks to you don't have to just go straight for the limit, it'll just buy it at the correct market price. After I have the BNB, I'll go to my wallet, fiat and spots. And let me just check if the BNB is already here. I can see, yeah, there is a hundred dollars worth of BNB, that's awesome. So at this moment, you need to press withdraw and then withdraw too. So obviously at that moment, I'm going to my MetaMask 
So the easiest way is just to copy the uh, account and uh, just paste it here. By the way, if you don't know uh, and you don't have Binance Smart Chain on your MetaMask, then you can just follow the tutorial in the description of this video, which explains you in short how to add the BSC, which is Binance Smart Chain, to MetaMask. So after what I'll what I'll do, I will press that paste that address to um, to the address fields. Then network make sure that it's BSC, which states for Binance Smart Chain BEP20. After I'll put how much I want to do it, I'll put uh, all, which is like I'm sending a bit more of that BNB. I always like to send a bit more, and I'll press withdraw. BSC select this transfer. Yes, I confirm that. After the uh, confirming the transaction, I can see that withdrawal request submitted. So I just press complete. And right now, five to 10 minutes, uh, sometimes up to a half an hour, this BNB should be already on my account. So a few minutes later, I can see my BNB has arrived, which is great, but this is the first step. And I'll tell you something which I saw also on the official Telegram group, is that they have a bug within that um, Everdom sale. And what happens? If you're trying to buy right now 65122, um, it will tell me it will cost me 0 0.15 BNB. But when I press buy, it will show the message, you, it appears you've sold Hero during the holding period, which has removed your address from the whitelist, which is not true. It is just a bug which is uh, showing and they explained that in that message that um, the problem is that API is something calculating the wrong holding number of your wallet. And this case does not happen all the time, but at some in the instances it does. So maybe you are those person, maybe you just bought it without the problems. But if you have a problem, what might happen is that it's showing the wrong amount of the hero. So for example, holder's account shows 20,166 tokens of hero when the reality has 20,417. So that means that when I see here, the I need 10,113 hero, uh, but it shows me I have only 10,072. So I'm actually missing 40 hero. So the recommendation on the website is that mm, we're showing the amount you need to add to your hero holding on the Everdon presale side, side. And all you need to do is buy a bit more hero in order to make your Everdon presale purchase. So it's probably a bit annoying, but still I will have to do that. So obviously, uh, let's open a quick calculator how much exactly of the hero I need. And also I need to cover the fees of it. So this will be a small amount, but it's still needed, right? So I need 10,113 and I currently hold 10,072. So minus 10,072. So I need 41 more hero, which is a small amount, but it's still, this is something which I'll need to buy. So I'll actually go to KuCoin as this is where I bought that initial, um, initial option and I'll buy that hero. So we'll go to, I'll go to login. So after logging into KuCoin, I go to trade and spot trading to check the current price of the uh, hero and actually what are the pair I can buy. I remember it was uh, USDT, but let's check it out. Hero and the pair, yes, Hero USDT. So I can see that Hero USDT is currently for 0 0.06, right? So um, I need to buy 41 of those exactly, so buy 50 rounds. So 50 times 0 0.0602, that's uh, barely $3. So this is like literally uh, nothing. Uh, this is really small amounts, but it's, it's cool. It needs to be bought. That's the kind of biggest uh, challenge, which, you know, I know that for some of the, uh, some of you, it will be a bit annoying, but still needs to be done. So um, what I will do right now, I'll actually send some uh, change to that, um, to that exchange. So after checking the price, I will go to uh, assets and main account and I'll deposit some USDT as I need it to be able to, um, you know, swap it. So I'll search for USDT and then I'll press deposit. After, I'll just send some uh, money, but I'll use the TRX TRC20 because this is the cheapest blockchain and it's always the, you know, when it's really quick with sending transaction. Then I'll go to Binance and I'll actually on my Binance, I will withdraw uh, literally 10 bucks, which will probably cost me a dollar for a fee. But well, you do what you have to do, right? Uh, to make sure that it is uh, done in a really easy way. So now I'll withdraw my USDT to my um, KuCoin wallet. So I'll just copy that TRX uh, TRC20 address. 
and paste it right here, then select the network, which is Tron TRX TRC20, which will cost me a dollar to send. Then I'll press max, yeah, I'll send all $14, and withdraw, as I had some just change, which I put it in. After, you just need to confirm the transaction, and it should be on your KuCoin. So after a few minutes, just refresh your KuCoin, and I can see already that my $13 have arrived, which is, you know, really easy. Then I need to just uh, transfer it from my main account to the trading account. This is the thing with, with KuCoin, that they have two different options. So I need to move it from main to my trading, which is this $13. And after I move it, I can go to trade, spot trading and actually buy that hero, that leftovers, I would call it. Uh, so I'll go to top, then search for the pair of hero USDT. And here I would choose from a limit to a market as I want to buy at the current market price. And to be honest, I won't buy this, you know, 40 hero or, you know, this three bucks of hero. I actually buy it for the whole $13. Like it's better to always have a bit more, right? So I'll press buy um, hero. It's buying, you have placed the order successfully, market bought, great. So now if I go to assets, to my trading account, and I will actually go to uh, hero, I will search for hero. I see that I have 220 hero, awesome. So now I need to transfer that from trading account to main account so I be, will be able to withdraw it. I know it's a bit of a pain in the ass, that's why I know that this tutorial will really help you to make sure that if you follow it step by step. So now I need to withdraw that hero to my MetaMask. So I'll grab my MetaMask and here I will copy the address by clicking this, um, this icon, copy to clipboard, because you can see I have my hero here. Then I will paste my address right here. Then choose a network for BSC Binance Smart Chain and choose the amount of hero I want to send, which is 210. Uh, I literally just like press it uh, max. Yeah, that's easy. Done. Then it tells me that 10 uh, hero will be my fee, which obviously I accept. That's why I told you it's good to buy a bit more because obviously you need to pay the fees. So it's 60 cents for a fee. So, you know, it's always better to have some of it more. So thanks to it, you know, you're not missing a few pennies. Then press confirm and you need to confirm and verify the transaction with your KuCoin verification options. So a few minutes later, I go to my MetaMask and I can see that I already have more hero. So this is important because uh, it just arrived. It depends on the blockchain business. It might be a bit busier, especially right now with, you know, Everdome and the pre-sale. So be patient, but it will definitely arrive. So now I will refresh the Everdome as uh, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, it shows me the right amount. I'll press connect MetaMask again. Then I'll put again 65,122, which will show me that it's 0.15 BNB and then I'll press buy. But right now it already pops the MetaMask notification as I have that extra hero. So as you can see, this is the main difference. Then I press confirm. And after the confirmation goes through, you can go to a MetaMask to see uh, like what exactly happened. If you go to activity, you can see that contract interaction is 0 0.15 BNB and it just has been executed. After the Everdome will refresh by itself, so I can see already I have 65,122 Dome of Everdome. So this is pretty cool. I hope that this tutorial have helped you to buy that Everdome, even if it's a bit more complicated than expect to, but well, we need to work with what we have, right? Thanks a lot, by the way, if you like this video, just hit that like and subscribe. So thanks to it, you know, I can make more videos like that in the future to make your life easier. Take care.